Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 86 of Direwolf20's server play series. You can see me hanging here at the moment, um, getting the solar panel building machine here working. Uh, I want some solar panels. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure I just gave it enough resources, um, short the cobblestone, um, that was the wrong portal color, to uh, get myself 64 solar panels, I believe. So you can see uh, Grum was here. Uh, he's hanging out on TeamSpeak with me too, as well as Mead and uh, Thunderdark is around, but you know, he doesn't like to talk, so that's okay. Hello. What's going on, man? Hey. So I'm uh, trying this thing out. Uh, so Grum said he got it working just fine. And uh, I'm gonna, oh yeah, throwing cobblestone in, cool. <laughs> I yeah, just want I to get some. I have too much, only three and a half thousand stacks. So. Oh, is that all you have? Three and a half thousand? Yeah. It's never enough. Not too shabby. So it does take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Um, time's something we can handle. So I see that it's, okay, I see what the time holdup is. You know, if we made some adjustments to this, we could make it run a little bit quicker, I'm sure, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I moved the bands from the iron, uh, from the gold pipes as well. So they speed up, uh, by the way, out of the, out of the system. Nice. So it looks like it's going pretty well. We should start seeing some solar panels show up here. Oh yeah, look at this. Everything's coming together. Things are being made. I like it. Very cool. So I uh, got some work to do this episode. Um, I want to... There's a few things I want to get going. I still haven't sorted out my Zone 1 security area. I haven't gotten a bunch of machines in my crafting area. And uh, my tunnel bore is doing a good job, but not as good a job as I would like it to do. There's more I need it to do for me. So uh, I'm going to probably work on some of that stuff uh, throughout the course of this episode. So why don't I uh, you know, get situated on what I want to do. I'll let this run for a while and then come back and see how we make out. And yeah, I'll be back in a few. All right, guys. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, what I want to do here is make a little change to the system. It's a little bit slow, and the reason for that is every cycle we're waiting every single time for more copper and more furnaces and more machine blocks to be made. So it occurs to me there's probably a way to fix this, and that is to take the things that are made over at that table and automatically direct them over to that table. That way we're not sitting and waiting for them to be crafted every single cycle. Um, it'll just craft them all at once, and it should increase the speed of the machine overall. Um, um, so what I'm going to do is take the copper cables and I'm going to take the machine block and furnace out of our system here. And I'm going to do this and this and then do this. Get this guy back to off. That should be fine. Come on, how many colors are there? Goodness. All right. So now it'll pull through and just send all the raw materials out of the chest directly to where they need to go. Okay. And then if we come over here, uh, I'm going to have to break a few things here, but that shouldn't be too big a deal. I just need to reroute a little bit. That should be good. I've got some of this and I've got some of this. And I should have my wrench on me somewhere. I had to fill up a canvas bag um, of all the materials I would have needed because that's a lot of materials, by the way. Um, actually, I don't think we even need this anymore, do we? Probably not, because everything that comes out of this system here, uh, all three auto crafting recipes, all machine blocks, all furnaces, and all copper cables will be sent over to that area over there. And we're gonna do that with build craft piping right now. Um, so all we have to do, probably, make this nice and easy here, um, is this. Let's see, I'm going to probably don't want anything connected here. What if I just ran it under here? That would be a good place. I have piping if you need it. No, I'm good. So see what I'm doing here? Yep. And uh, did you know that if you use um, cobblestone pipe and stone pipe next to each other, they don't connect? That's a good way to run those two next to each other. Yep, I saw that indeed. 
All right, Pretty so what nice. should happen now is all the raw materials will go into this set of tables, and then they'll immediately go over to the chest over here to be turned into the next level of materials. Um, and the same thing for um, you know this stuff. And then when it comes out, it'll just come down as a solar panel and go straight over here. Now, the only other thing we have to change is our counter. Uh, we can't count machine blocks anymore because... Um, well, basically, uh, we can't count machine blocks anymore, period. So we have to uh, instead count refined iron um, that goes through this because we want to basically say, you know, every so many refined iron is when we need another uh, set of stuff. So, well, we could really count anything. We could also count cobblestone. Maybe I want to count cobblestone. Yeah, because refined iron we have two different areas of. So what I want to say is every so many cobblestone, right? Or I could count glass. I could count coal dust. It's pretty much every, you know, every one solar. Um, so let's see, what's a good one to count? I guess coal dust is the lowest number of things that go through here. So if I, or glass for that matter. So if I count glass, right, and our, uh, our determination was that every six solar panels, we want to make an extra set of cables, right, Grum? Uh, yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, that's so if we're counting glass, then instead of counting up to six, we need to count up to, and I want to put it in this mode, which means it'll count individually. That should be good. If I'm counting glass, I want to then count 18 of them. Cool. So you want to give this a manual try right now? Because this should work. So everything is in the chest that we need, um, and everything is reset down here, right? That's proper. I think we're ready to test this, and I'm going to do it manually with the lever. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. So see how it pulsed three times real quick because it passed uh, through with three glass? That was cool, by the way. And that should give us everything we need to get one solar panel. And everything should go through here like this. This cool. is much, much faster. Faster, right? Absolutely. So I, think um, that's I, actually, I actually timed you for the couple of panels that you made. It took one minute each. Yeah. So we should be getting a solar panel here pretty quickly. So there's more crafting that gets done at that second table because it has to make um, it has to make the circuits, it has to make the the batteries, and then it has to make the the um, generator. So the, the batteries and the generator is an extra step, but there we go. So I'm going to let this thing turn on full blast and see what happens. Ready? Boom. See how it's pulsing three times every time the glass goes through? That's pretty neat, right? Look at the counter. Isn't the counter awesome? This is cool, yeah. And it's so going faster, so, right? so, so much faster. I think the only way we can actually speed this up is by not using the uh, auto-archic pipes, or actually putting a proper engine on them. That's warm. Uh, auto archics are pretty quick. That is cool. Dude, that's a lot faster, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we could, in theory, use Retriever as well. Oh, good. I just noticed that the counter was, like, getting pulsed when it was already in the plus. But, oh, I, we've got a problem. Hang on. I have to turn this down to count decrement. Um, oh, 18. Yeah. All right. So we're making a few more cables than we need to, but that shouldn't be too big a deal. That's okay. So we might have to do a little tweaking with this system because it's going through so fast. But it's not that big a deal. I mean... One way or another, we're making copper cables, right? Like, it doesn't matter. And in, in fact, I'd almost argue that, you know, we don't have to worry too much about this now. So that's getting there before the negative pulse. All right, so that's a little bit... It's almost too fast at this point. <laughs> it's okay, though. How are we doing? 
Well, we did 12 in two minutes. <laughs> so much 13. faster now, right? Oh, yes, much, much faster. So we've probably got an overflow of items in here, but not too much to the point where it's like a problem, you know what I mean? Well, we can easily upgrade them to bronze or iron chests. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. All right. Now I feel like this machine's a little bit cooler. I still have the feeling that maybe we can do all the copper wire, but hmm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking we can too. I think I'm with you on that. But now we, we kind of do need the balance of the uh, 7 to 1 ratio. Or, uh, or the 7 to 6 ratio. So basically we need to make one more copper cabling for every six, right? So what if yeah. we put, what if we did this? What if we put in this sorting machine, one more copper and two more rubber? Then every time it pulled, it would pull seven and 14, right? And then every sixth time it pulled, it would have enough extra to make whatever. Yeah, my only doubt with that system is, is that we should actually have it in first. So we should do it on the very first one, have one set extra and then five times not. Oh, I see what you mean. Because else we all get a deadlock if we don't have spare cables. Right. This is going insanely fast. <laughs> we just did I say we just don't worry about that right in now. In four minutes. 35 and 40. I need a. User I need, joined your channel. If I do this, I need an extra piece of rubber and an extra piece of copper. Do you have one of each? You know what? I have my portal here. Hang on, I can get one. I've I got to have a portal back to my house. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is, right, if we put one extra of each in the sorting machine, then every six cycles it will have pulled enough extra copper and rubber. Or actually, I need two rubber. It'll have pulled enough of each to, uh, to do that, right? Or no, it isn't one. Yeah, it's one. one. One extra of each. Hang on. One extra of each or... No, right. Two, yeah, two rubber. Two rubber, right? Two rubber. Yeah. yeah. So one, one copper and two rubber extra. And then every six it pulls, it will have pulled enough to make an extra. Um, so it'll just build up in this chest over here. And then we'll get an extra. And then we can disable this extra sorting machine step. So there and there, right? Oops, didn't want to do that. Something is locked up. Oh, I turned it off. Ah. While we make this change, I turned it off. I'll cut the resource for another, for right. another set. So, let's see. Where are we at over here? This thing should just have a few extra rubber in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, actually put, like, six extra rubber in here. And then come over here and let this guy run again. So, this will actually be a pretty short run because there's not much left. But I think if this works, we don't have to worry about the counter. And I've disabled the counter piece. So let's turn it on. I don't know how many more I have left to do, but I think it's not many. I think it's like two. two <laughs> <laughs> well, that was quick, wasn't it? Well, we started at uh, we started five minutes ago. So yeah. And yeah. we did all but 17. So we did 47 in five minutes. Okay. Then I vote that we don't need this extra sorting machine anymore. Right? Because we're going to have an extra buildup of rubber and copper. See how there's like, you know, three and six in there right now? Yeah, perfect. So that's doing exactly what I want it to do. I like it. Yeah, I think that works, dude. I think that's awesome. It's pretty nice. All right, so YouTube, I will be back in a few minutes once I just double check that everything's working the way I want it to. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, Grum is actually filling the chest back up because he wants to make 64 more solars, and uh, we realized there was an error in the math here. What we actually needed was half of a copper ingot and one rubber instead of one copper ingot and two rubber. And because we can't do half of a copper ingot, we're sticking with this sorting machine over here. But we did tweak this a little bit um, because we noticed that the item detector wasn't pulsing the decrement fast enough, so we set it up so that as soon as it pluses, it immediately pulses the decrement and resets um, as soon as it... Uh, requests the item so it's like a self-resetting counter there 
So that should be in pretty good shape. So we've got an extra six copper cables over here, which is ready to start. And then, uh, all right, Grum, I think we're ready if you are. Mm, yeah. If I, uh, I will set it to... Stopwatch or so. You've got everything in there? Yeah, I have. All right, here goes. Boom. Go. Engage. Do you have the wrong kind of copper? You have the wrong kind of copper, I think. Oh. Yeah, you do. I have a lexicon in my house if you want to go in through the portal there. Over here. So yeah, I think our solar panel machine is pretty awesome. It's uh, pretty high speed now. Oh, by the way, Tog, uh, one change LRM made to uh, project tables for the 146 release. Did you hear? Uh, well, I heard a number of new things that she snuck in the 146. It's like, when did that get in the red power? Yeah. Um, but remind me. Uh, she made it so that project table plans um, are now for the dictionary aware. Yes, yes, I, I was aware of that. Pretty spiffy. So, I like this build update that we did here. It's it's running a little bit better than it was. Hey, Serge joined us. What's up, Serge? I have to check on the server. Uh, it was a long been on time a while, that right? I didn't. <laughs> yeah, right. And I guess you guys built a lot of new stuff. Oh, yes. That. Did you put copper in it? Right. Here? No, not yet. So, we're ready? Uh, yep. Is the machine going to start straight away? Yep, it will. It is. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there we goes. had a few extra pulses happen over here because we were pulsing the machine the whole time. Okay, well, that's not that big a deal. It'll run just fine still. Probably. That was just because of the, of, uh, the testing we were doing. That machine was still counting all the pulses it got and failed to pull. All right, so this counter should self-reset over here as soon as it gets its positive count. There we go, it did. Nice. It did it twice too many, right? Two stacks too much? It, uh, three stacks too many, I think. Or three poles too many, I guess. That is a lot of stuff coming through. It's cool though, right? I got, I managed to snack three chests, uh, sets from the chest. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I love this design. I think it worked out perfectly. It's now flawless and quick. All right, I'm happy with it. How about you, Grom? Uh, I'm happy too. Excellent. Let's see how long it takes before we get them. Cool. So now, what do I want to do? Do I want to work on my quarry and make it double-sided? Or do I want to work on this machine room? Because I've got a machine room where I can build things, my, my zone two building area here with all the project tables and everything. Um, but I don't have any machines in here, like the thermal expansion machines, uh, the blue alloy furnace, the compressor and extractor. Like there's a bunch of machines that I could use, like the even like the forestry stuff, like that I would probably want to have, but are not accessible in this room. So that's one thing I want to get going on at some point is working on this whole area here, just have a bunch of machines that I can walk up to and use. Uh, like maybe a wall of a couple industrial craft machines and a couple um, forestry and some thermal expansion machines maybe even a red power or two so yeah we got some stuff to do in here um, but also like believe it or not even with this like crazy quarry machine I'm still hurting for a few resources like iron I'm pretty low on at this point I only have like about a stack of iron and I've only got one iron block I have a ton of tin blocks it looks like right yeah tin blocks I'm good on tin and copper no problem um, but iron hurting for uh, redstone, not even a lot of that. Like, usually I have tons and tons of redstone. Nope, only three stacks. So might want to work on my quarry uh, tunnel bore thing. I don't know. We'll see. So I will come back now that this thing is uh, a little bit fixed. And, uh, oh yeah, I also have to take my stack of solar panels that I've got here and actually do something with them. Haha. -ha. That was my extra stuff. All right, guys, back in a few. And guys, just because I felt you might want to watch me craft the MV solar panel that I've got going on here, here it is nice so i really 
really like this solar panel crafting machine. I think it was awesome. It turned out great. Um, I'm going to go hook this up in my uh, room with my nuclear reactor now because it's going to also supplement the power from my nuke to help keep my force fields powered. As I mentioned earlier uh, in previous episodes, uh, not enough power here to... Okay, that's uh, not going to work. Can I put him over here? I could always just, you know... Yeah, that'll work. Uh, so let's see. Where are my power wise going? Oh yeah, this'll work. Just need some fiber cabling. To-do list. Color code my two canvas bags that I have now because... Yeah. Just need a couple fibers. Okay. Oh, damn it, I don't have enough glass. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. Isn't it funny, like, when you get to this point and you're low on, like, the easiest resources in the world? Well, I'm almost done. I just need the glass and uh, I'm three minutes in, so I'm beating the time, but... Uh... I know, right? User joined your channel. All right, so let's see if I can run my force fields. Zone security two and four. So if I have zone security two and four running, I should, at this point, be okay in terms of power use um, versus gain. So, in theory... My MFSU should not dip, and I'm going to keep an eye on that and then come back. All right, guys, it's been a while, and uh, it's using about 100 EU per tick to keep my uh, security zones online. Not bad, uh, give or take 100 EU. Like, I waited for 715 ticks, so not bad, not bad at all. And my MFSU, as you can see, is remaining full. Um, it's nice, it drains a bunch and it refills and it drains a bunch and it refills, but overall it's staying full. So with two medium voltage solar arrays, I'm able to keep most of my security systems online without a problem. Now I can't keep my base shield and I can't keep all three zones online, but we're getting there. One more medium voltage and we should be in really good shape with this. So I'll be back in a few. All right, guys, hanging out over at Grum's house and lagging a lot because he has so many items coming in from his uh, his uh, tunnel bore. But he's got some rubber tree farms going on over here. He's got all kinds of farms and crazy stuff happening. Uh, Grum's been pretty hard at work, it looks like. Oh, cool, some solar panels up there. So where are you at? You went downstairs, I presume? Yeah, I'm just checking if it actually stopped. But I think... There's Tog. <laughs> and, uh, it's not like, stopped. Dude, it's crazy. Look at this. Like, I'm lagging like you wouldn't believe, just from the amount of items flowing through his system at the moment. All from your tunnel bore? Ah, uh, it's stopping now. Yeah, it's stopped. Cool, it stopped. Well, it's not only my tunnel bore. I also have this chest of stuff that is getting packed. Right. But it's getting empty as well, so it's super I was uh, just in single player um, testing something, and I'm coming back now to, uh, to help grum make a little bit of a change to his tunnel bore so we're gonna actually head out to where his tunnel bore is um so that we can uh play with it a bit all right i'll be back once we get out there because it's a long run so guys here we are hanging out at grum's tunnel bore dude this is cool i'm uh stealing your diamonds i'm also tempted to make a tunnel bore like this myself because mine is cool, but it doesn't run automatically. Um, yours, you can just turn on and it just keeps going, right? Like, this thing never gets stuck, never has a problem? Um, not since I took care of all the problems it had, no. <laughs> what happened? Gravel, typically, I guess? Uh, actually, I can't remember. Stuff. <laughs> right, so now we need to make a safe exit platform. <laughs> Actually, let me go back to my base. I don't think I left my security system on, and if Richard G is going to come visit, then I better make sure. <laughs> right, so how do you actually set this one up, this uh, portal thingy, portal magic? Oh, by the way, uh, Dyer, would you be able to take one redstone wire? 
Uh, do I have any redstone wire on me? I don't know that I do. Oh, wow. Well, um, so yep, how, does this tele how does this teleport thing you actually work? Yep, just apply a redstone signal. Right. Um, but when I put it up, it asks me all kinds of questions. It just asks you what color portal you want to have. Oh. So, and you want to match the, the top and bottom match. So, like, the left two match and the right two match and whatever. I mean the left two match and right two match. Yep. So, like, blue and orange Oh, match. okay, yeah. See what I mean? Yeah, so I'm going to make it uh, red and... Uh, okay, so if I now portal home... Uh, I don't know... I put this thing on my wall... Yep. You're going to need me to open it up for you. So yeah, when you're ready, let me know and I'll flip the lever. And it'll simulate you putting a redstone signal on. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, it's open. You should be able to come through. Except that it won't let me. This side is yellow. Did you make your side red? I think I tried, and I think it failed because it became blue for some reason. If you right-click on the portal, you can change it. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. Yep. Let me know when your side's red, and I'll flip it on. Hmm. If I right-click it, nothing happens, and it's not... You can't right-click it? Nah, I think I can't right-click it because it's powered, but it's powered because it's also stopping the TBM. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if you want to make it... I'd make it a separate frequency. You'll probably have to break it. Oh, you know what? Probably because when you placed it, it was powered already. Yeah, I think Creepers. so. Creepers. That's a nice tunnel board you have there, right. says Mr. Creeper. Oh, now I just need a lever. Can you flip the switch on the TBM? Yep. yep. So there was, there's one on top in the back right corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, to move it? Yeah, to stop moving it. Ah, now it's active. Cool. There you go, it's moving, dude. So, stop. Right, so now the only thing I need is a wire. So you're going to make it the same frequency hmm. as the stop? I'd make it a it's separate true. frequency. Well, why? I don't know. I might as well have it stop. Yeah, but then I can't let it go either. That's also... Because then your portal is always open when it's stopped. Hmm. I'm just saying. That's the way I would do it. Well, I know. I need to find one of my uh, set, uh, re oh, retrievers. All right, guys, uh, we'll be back in a few. Hmm. All right, guys, we're back. Um, is your? Did you put a pan? There's a panel behind this thing, right? Oh, there we go. It's moving. Yeah, it is. It nice. Is. So, right. got to wire this frequency. I don't know, dude. I'm kind of jealous of this tunnel bore. I saw how many items you were getting, and I'm like, mm, I might want one. You shoot, it's really nice. It looks really nice, I'm not going to lie. It looks awesome. And because of the whole chunk loading mechanic, like what, I, what I'm thinking I want to do is have a tunnel bore like this, but then have like a lever or maybe even computer controlled inside my base that can turn it on and off. That would be cool. Yeah, I could, uh, I could adjust my base control computer to activate and control my tunnel bore. Ooh, now I'm really thinking I might want to make one. Oh, that actually worked. Yay! <laughs> but I do fall through the world, so that is not too nice. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't activate it and come to it while it's moving. That might not be a good thing. That's why mean? I made it so that I would activate it and make it stop at the same time. Oh, well, yeah, fair enough. I would, like, turn it off and then travel through. But, I mean, it, it works pretty well. I mean, you're probably falling through the world because it has to load the world around you pretty quickly. I mean, there's a lot of yeah. 
new chunks to load and come show up and whatnot. Awesome, Just kind of sad you can't easily get onto it anymore. What do you mean? Mm. Well, I used to be able to just get on to the platform easily, but now my stairs is gone. <laughs> oh, I got you. Well, you have quantum armor, don't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Other people don't. I can't get through your portal anymore. Is it moving still? Uh, I turned off the power. I really turned All right, it back so on. it's not moving anymore? No, it's not moving. It's turned on right now. There we go. I got through. Nice. I like it, dude. I think that's a good system. Yeah, that's. I should have done it earlier. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, guys. Well, I think we need to wrap up this episode. Um, I'm pretty happy with the changes that we made to the solar factory today. Um, Grum's tunnel bore is making me exceedingly jealous, and I'm thinking I might want to make one. So might see something like this get built uh, between, you know, in the next couple episodes, just because, like, this is cool. <laughs> like, it's really cool. My, uh, my quarry is awesome, but this thing... The nice thing about this is it just goes, right? Like my quarry, there's a little bit of extra work involved. I have to like turn it on and off, move it around. You know, it might get stuck in front of a mountain or something. Where this thing, it's like you flip a lever and it's going. And then when you turn off the lever, it stops. So that's something I might want to build. So maybe next episode, maybe the next one, I don't know. But for now, Direwolf20 signing off on episode 85. Hope you guys enjoyed it and take it easy. Actually, did I say 85? No, this was 86. All right, guys, for real. Take it easy.